welcome back to another episode of the I'm Downs podcast and YouTube channel. Thank you guys for tuning in once again. Uh, we're your host, George Gutty, Christoph the Third, coming back to you guys again with episode 11 Is it of human? the podcast. Yeah, it's episode 11. Yeah, that's the episode 11. Oh, uh, yeah. I thought you were just guessing. No, it's literally. No, actually, you know what? They think this might be episode 12. Well, 11, 12, you know. 13, 14, yeah, one of the, 7, one of the, 8, 9. One of them. Alright, coming you again, and uh, what are we hitting them with this time? We want to talk about tempo, time. The, the luxury of time. So, we want to talk about, yeah, not even the luxury of time. We want to talk about the time period is the only luxury. Luxury, yes. Yeah. I like that. And so, what do we mean by that? Jorge Elustranos. Yes, yeah, so, you know, uh, we put value on a lot of things, right? As far as luxury goes in our lives, right? So, we look at things like houses being luxury, right? Certain kind of houses or cars being luxury. Um, li- there's luxurious brands, right? Gucci, Fendi, Saint Laurent, you know, Mula Mista, whatever. Yeah, you know I mean, we have a lot of these uh, fancy. Yeah, you really things. mentioned some, some big, yeah, yeah right. Was, was, so I mean, we, th- those are things that we put value and we put like this, uh, this, you know, we label as luxury. You know what I mean? In our lives and. In reality, when you really come to think about it, all of those things we can achieve or get at one point in time, right? But it's very important to say at one point in time. So maybe because I couldn't get the SS18 of Saint Laurent this time around, doesn't mean I can't get it 20 years from today, which is a very long time. But let's just, you know, let's hype it up. 20 years from today, I can go to eBay or... I don't know, wherever, you have somebody reselling that and caught that exact same piece that I wanted years ago, right? Um, but time itself is really the only luxury that we really have. Because the fact that me and you can sit on this couch today and speak, you know, to the world mm-hmm. about time and about anything is a luxury in itself. Because it's something that we will never get back. The five minutes that we wasted five minutes ago, we'll never get back. You know what I mean? The 10 minutes and 30 minutes that we wasted when we were eating or whatnot, we will never get back. You know what I mean? But money, you can lose $1,000 today and get those $1,000 right back. Mm-hmm. You can lose a pair of shoes today and get those shoes right back. You get what I'm saying? But now let me ask you a question. Because I, I think all of us, in a way, are aware of that. Mm-hmm. Because we all say time is everything. Money, right? We always say time is money. Is money. Right, right. We always say this idea of time is the most valuable thing we got. Mm-hmm. But why is it that most of us, in your opinion, obviously you don't have the answer for yeah. everybody, but in your opinion, why is it that most of us are more consumed with the money than the time if time is money? You know, I think it's because we live in a world now where we, when we go to our jobs, our time is valued by money. Right? Clock in, clock yeah, out. we clock in, we clock out. Whenever we do a job, we do, oh, I charge this for now, right? So you go to a photographer. Wow, that's a good stuff. Yeah, right? We go to a photographer, I charge $100 an hour. You know, so we put money to value our time because it's the only commodity we can exchange for other goods and services. Yeah. So it's why we don't really look at time as like, wow, you know, this is uh, actually something very important. Honestly, wow, in a you, way. Wow, that, that's powerful. Though. You think so? What you just said is the idea that we have been, I guess, nurtured into putting value on our time. Absolutely, 100% but, correct. Now, let me ask you a question. Does the, in that reasoning, does that mean that some people's time is more valuable than others? I love that you said that. Now, because, you know, the certain photographers are going to charge $1,000 an hour, where you're going to charge $100 million. I know that you said that. Now, this is the thing. I feel that our time is based on what we value it to be. Wow, that's yeah. deep though. Yeah, because you know why? Maybe, you know what? Me and you are photographers. And I decide, I'm going to charge $100 an hour. You're going to charge $1,000 an hour. Me and you take the exact same kind of pictures, right? Why is it that I value or I see my time at $100 and you see it at $1,000? Why is that? Only value you, yourself. exactly, yeah. But in reality, nobody told you, Chris, you're going to value. You don't work for a company. You made your own company. Only you value your own time. The reason why we come home, and I mean, 
again, there's exceptions to this rule, right? Like you said, sometimes we watch certain things for our time. But when we come home and we decide to lay on the couch for five hours and watch TV, that's time that we decided to dedicate to the television when it could have been time that we could have dedicated to something else. Now, I understand there's exceptions to that. It's not straightforward. Yes, sometimes we do need us time, right? We need time for ourselves. We need time to just unwind and do our own thing. So I absolutely understand that. But when it comes out to just allocating time itself, you know, time is something that you will never, ever get back. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? It's something that if, like, look, if you would have put your time into, let's say, researching cryptocurrency, like I like to talk about every now and then, um, four, no, eight years ago, you would be a millionaire right now. Third right? question. You would have known about Bitcoin. Without trying. Absolutely. You would have known that Bitcoin was at like a few hundred bucks back then at 2010. You would have invested a few hundred bucks in 2010, and by the time 2017 came around and it went to 20,000 bucks, you would have been a multi-millionaire right now, right? If you would have took the time to invest, or if you would have invested your time into, into the investment of exactly Bitcoin. of knowing you know other things, you get me? Instead, I mean, what were you doing in 2010? Do you remember? In 2010, I think I was in high school, ninth grade. I was probably um, looking at shoes online all the time. Um, flipping wow. shoes. Wow, that was, was that was ten. That was eight years ago. Eight years ago. I was probably like a junior in high school. Yeah. But, but do you remember what you were doing as a junior? Like, were you, like, uh, into... Nothing, nothing volleyball, I'll tell you that. <laughs> right, probably playing basketball or something yeah. like that, whatever, right? And just doing things. I mean, I remember I was probably flipping shoes. I mean, some people might say, oh, that's a good time to waste your time. Okay, I mean, well, that's a good thing to put your time into, not yeah, waste you your time. you were really into that. Yeah, I was really into that at the time. I guess it's good, but, I mean, in reality, I could have probably put my time into other things. You know what I mean? I mean, so, it all depends on what it is, but I think that the message here is... The only luxury, like you said, in life is time. Because it's the one you can't buy. Yo, the time you spend with people is time you cannot buy. The time me and you spend together, me and your brother, us as a collective group of friends, it's time you can't put a price tag on. And, and you know, I, mean? you know I, I think you're hitting on the spot in a very positive sense. But I want to I wanna look at you guys and encourage you guys. Mm -hmm. The time you spent on grudges... Bitterness, anger, pain, hatred, it's oh, sadness, I remorse, mm -hmm. comparison, mm -hmm. feeling like a failure, feeling empty, mm -hmm. feeling like you're not good enough. That's time you also cannot get back. Because oh, we were just talking about how it is, you know, it, 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 we've become to a point that we're always busy, him. My brother, who we always hang out with, Eddie. You guys know him. You know him. If you don't, I'll send up. I'll put a picture of my, you know, my uh, Instagram or something. You guys can meet him. Uh, you know, we always hanging out. And, and when we try to get hang out, it's now it's more complicated because we're more busy, mm -hmm. right? But we say, you know, it's this time that we value, time that we make for each other because we understand this value and, and just spending time with one another, right? But there's so much time we spend on negative things. And more than just watching TV and watching Netflix, we spend time on negative emotions and negative thinking that don't ever lead us to growth. Mm -hmm. And that's time you cannot buy back. I love that you took it there, honestly. I really do. Like, I, you know, um, I guess we try to be real positive on this channel all the time, right? And we try to be real positive on the podcast. I absolutely love that you took it there because, you know, it's for you to hate, for you to show time to, is energy out of you. You know what I mean? It takes time for you to have to process those thoughts. It takes time for you to speak out on those thoughts. You're, I, I don't know. I actually love that you took it there because it makes so much sense. It's um, it's something that you don't really think about, but you know, I like to say it a lot. When you find yourself speaking about speaking about other people a lot, it's because you don't have a lot going on for yourself. <laughs> Can I just die right now? I did. Just who's that? Then. Yes, because wow, I look. You know, I found I found that it's something interesting. Me and you have a lot of conversation about I'm down, now, right? Me and you have a lot of conversation about the future. Me, you, and our friends in general, right? Have a lot of conversations about what we want to accomplish. You get me? So we talk about our goals. We talk about our lives. You know, we don't spend our time talking about how Fulanita, you know, did so and so. You and, weren't really Hispanic there, though. Right, 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 right. So, you know, we don't talk a lot about how 
uh, you know, this person did that. We're not talking about gossip. We're talking about just our lives, you get me? And we're talking about where we want to be, how we want to do things. And when you waste your time, because you are wasting your time and your energy tweeting about somebody else or talking about somebody else, something that doesn't really benefit you and help you grow in the long term, what are you doing? Like, what are you doing with your time? You get me? Like, what, what is it that you get out of talking about somebody? Bashing the Kardashians. Right. You know, like, oh, Kylie Jenner has this. I can't believe this. Blah, 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 blah. Like, what is it that you get out of that? You know what I'm saying? Like, what kind of value to your life? What makes you better at the end of that conversation? You know what I mean? And I think that that's something that we're trying to, like, improve with us. Yeah. yeah. Right? And, and, you know, one thing that I think you always hear me say, and I know you also say it, is I can see a person and I can say and tell how much that person cares about me but how much time they're willing to put into me. Absolutely. You know, like, there, there's people that you reach out to and are always too busy. Mm -hmm. If people are always too busy for you, let me tell you one thing. Your worth to them is not absolutely high. Absolutely. Because guess what? Time is money. And if they can't give you time, then they don't value you. But it is people who will go out of their way for you. Those are the people mm -hmm. who see in you the value, the prize that you are. Mm -hmm. Right? And, and, and you were talking about this idea of of just, you know, focusing that channel, that time into something positive. You know, I know we, we, we aspire to big things and we talk big game, but when we talk about positive, we also talk about practical things. Something positive can be, as you're watching a Netflix show you like, get in the position and plank as you do the show. You know, we as, as millennials are gifted in multitasking. The problem is with multitasking is that we're good at everything, but we are not great at anything. But, but if we at least are going to be good at everything, then let's manage those things and learn our techniques. You know, like I, I, one thing that I've been trying to implement these last couple of weeks is if I can go to the gym, at least I'll do push-ups while I'm watching Netflix. Right. So I have a TV, that, that, the phone right here, yeah. and I'm doing push-ups. Gotcha. I'm not missing my show, but I'm getting some workout out of it. Gotcha. You know, uh, if you are working, then do something else. If you're taking care of a child, then you can do something else. You know, learn because your time, you don't want to look back and say, man, I wasted so much time. You want to look back and say, I use my time wisely. Yeah. You know, um, I think that that couldn't be said better. I almost want to transition into something now. Yeah. That you could have said, no, yeah. Honestly, um, we can cut whatever, however we're going to do it. I always want to transition to something that you could have said much better. And I guess talk a little bit about finances as far as the transition. Wow. A little bit. Just a little bit. Okay. Because we want to make a whole thing about it, but just a little bit. Um, you say you don't want to look back and say, damn, right? You know what I love about what you just said right now? It makes me think right now. Right now, it just made me think, okay. You know my whole $100, 12%. Well, tell them because they don't know. Right, right. I'm going to tell you guys. So if right now that... Whatever position you're in, I know everybody's in a different financial position. Like everybody can make certain choices. I know that there's some people that cannot spare to invest $100 a month. That's too much for you. I understand. Everybody's in a different position. I think the whole point of what I'm about to say does have nothing to do with the amount of money, but it has to do with how much you're willing to put, right? The big um, picture. Right, the big picture. So this is the whole grand scale, right? So if you were to get $100 right now a month, right, which is $1,200 a year, and you're to put it into a mutual fund, like let's say it gave you 12% back interest, right? You know, though. So to get to school, you guys, a little bit, not, you know, to go too much detail, a mutual fund, at least most of them kind of mimic the S&P 500, which is an index in the stock market. That index usually does anywhere between 7 to 8% a year. There is some mutual funds that do more, which about 12% or so, right? Yeah. A year. The highest being what, 25, 24%? Which is like very... Like, like if you that's get that, like big that's money amazing. volume. Yeah, that's, that's amazing. Big money volume. But, you know, 12% will be the the average, let's say. Um, you know, some years they could do 4%, some years they could do 19%. Like last year, seven, 2017, the stock market did about 19%, which is amazing. If you are to put $100 into a mutual fund that gave you about 12% a year compound interest throughout 40 years, and you're 22 right now, by the time you're 62 years old, you have about a million dollars. Or close to a million, about 900 and something thousand dollars, or about a million and something dollars. And that's 
Who in wants that to? mutual fund, not that, in your property. No, yeah, your... that has nothing to do with you. What you end up doing that's literally what you. So let's say you get your check and mentally you say, you know what, I have minus one hundred dollars every single check. That means that that money you just don't even think about. Like once you get your check, that money is gone. Forty years from now, when you're sixty something years old, and we just look, you know, when we went to the beach today for a lot of dude, did you not just say, damn, look at that old man, he just ripped as hell. That guy was old, bro. Like how old do you think that guy was? If you could guess, fifty five. 55, let's say. No, I think older. older. I have the older because my dad's 50 something, he doesn't look that old. Yeah, old. that guy was way 65? older. 65? That guy's in the 60s. Dude, that guy was ripped. You know what I mean? I think that we have a negative image when we say 60s. We think time. of like, you time. know, Father it's Time. We think that this is our prime. Exactly. We think that, you know, in your 60s, you're, you're done. You're old man, you can't walk. No. All of that has to do with choices you make today. Choices wow. you make today will impact you in the future. So if you decide to stay healthy, stay in shape, at your 60s, you will look I mean, That guy was ripped. That guy had abs, like six pack, I, I muscles. Know that like, that guy was ripped. If you combine George and me, that guy still looks 100 times better. Yes, for sure. That guy looked way better than us, and we're in our 20s. That guy looked way better than us, which was insane to me. So, so don't think right now, like, oh my God, in my 60s, I'm going to be like freaking no. No, 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 no. In your 60s, you might be in your greatest time of your life. You get me? So the whole point here is to look in the long run. That means that you can have a million bucks for you. Because remember, that money you can pull out whenever you want. And you will have that money for you in the next 40 years. $100 a month. For, to some people, that's a lot of money. But that requires a discipline, doesn't it? It does, absolutely. You know, that might mean that you might not be able to go out drinking every single weekend. That might mean that you might not go and get, you know, turned up. Or that might mean that you no, might have to... manicures or manicures. Right, every single time. You know, that might mean that you have to kind of tone it down on going out to eat. You know what I mean? It, it might mean a couple of sacrifices. But, I mean, the point here is that $100 in 40 years is, to most people, I want to say, is almost nothing. I mean, a lot of us, especially in our youth, we spend that... Pair of shoes? Yeah, I'm a pair of shoes. You know, we're talking about a month here. We're talking about in a month, you know? You're going to accomplish this kind of wealth through the long term. The point is time. Yeah. The things that I think that we fail in kind of bringing it back to time, we fail in valuing time. You get me? We fail to see, like, we want everything now. You know, we want it now. And that's the problem. And, and I was going to say this earlier. Uh, I, mean, I don't want to cut you off. For sure. Is that there has to be in us a balance, like a fine line. Between living in the moment and living for the moment, mm -hmm. right? Because I want to live in the moment. You know, these conversations, I want to enjoy them and be present and look at you and receive what you're telling me and yeah. communicate. You know, there's recordings. I want you guys to understand that there's more than just ideas we wrote down. This is our passion. This is us mm -hmm. giving you what we learned, what we receive, sure. what we've been uh, digesting, you know? But I don't want to live for this moment, you know, because I want to think about the security that comes. If I have to live another 20 years, I want that I want to be safe for another 20 years. Mm -hmm. You get me? And if our time is money, then we should be financial secure uh, as well as time is secure. Absolutely. Right? Invest our times in things that will produce finance, Absolutely. that will produce benefits, that will produce growth. Because... The best you should be we we should look at ourselves like wine. I know we use it as a pickup line. Yeah. We should use ourselves as a wine. Mm -hmm. We should always get better with time. Yes. You know, because the you from five years should be better than the you from today. Mm -hmm. Because it's more wise, more responsible, more disciplined, more this, more that. And if you're like George Clooney, you get better and more with good age. looking all their age. Yeah. Or like, you know? But but the physical is the least of the important ones. But I mean you should be getting better with your time. So make sure that we're living in the moment. Let's not take this moment for granted because this moment is all I got. I am happy with this moment. Mm -hmm. And I'm okay dying in this moment. But if I don't, I want to live whatever God has for me. Yeah, for sure. You know, I, I think I think we nailed it right on the head there. You know, for anybody out there right now who's watching this and thinking like, huh, you know, interesting, whatever, you know, um... I think we open up the funnels every time for conversation for dialogue. Oh, for sure, really. Um, you know, I actually want to shout out whoever. You know, actually we did uh, for crazy girls. We, I don't know if you read the comments. We have. Oh, I, I read some of them. Yeah. Which is, we appreciate you guys. Every every single one of you guys for you know commenting, 
because we love the dialogue. You know, we're gonna ex we're gonna definitely go back and you know try to talk a little bit about that for sure. You know, like like more open. And what if you guys comment on something, we'll come back on you. Yeah, for sure. for sure. You know, so we can have a, a bigger discussion because you know I don't know everything. You know, we sit up here and we speak confidently on what we feel. You know what I mean, I think that that's what's dope that. We kind of just speak very, very confident about our emotions, how we feel. But it doesn't mean that what we think is right. It doesn't mean that how we feel is right. You know, you guys have a certain opinion. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? And I personally love it. I know you love it when, you know, we're getting comments and we're getting dialogue. So, you know, for this one, if you guys, you know, if we miss something that we could have possibly talked about, we don't mind going back and, you know, discussing yeah. it again, you know, um, as far as time goes, you know. Um, we have very limited time, you know, we might be gone tomorrow. We have no clue. You get me? That's a problem with time. But with the time that we do have, you know, let's invest it in speaking positivity, helping each other out, you know, being a help, not an anchor to anybody else. You know what I mean? So, you know, with that being said, we want to thank you guys for watching, you know, like, please, you know, like, comment, subscribe. Uh, thank you guys for watching. We are very thankful. This is episode, I believe, 12 now. Um, we're going strong, man. You know, I appreciate the support from everybody, from the littlest of, you know, comments and everything. We appreciate you guys. Uh, we thank you, you know, for allowing us to, you know, continue to use this platform to talk to you guys. And, uh, I don't know. So, uh, smash that subscribe button. Deuces. Peace.